and I'm not worried about my boobies hanging out or something. I'm so ready to put on my jeans. <laughs> A lot of people think of me as being a hard ass because of what they've heard or they've seen on television. In the past, I was the type of person who was not an outgoing person. I had a wall up around me. I really just don't give a damn because if you don't like me, tough shit. And I'll say that and it, it just kind of comes out and people don't seem to realize that's just who I am. I'm not trying to be crude or rude. The Nancy Kerrigan thing that happened, I said, yeah, I can't wait to beat her ass. Well, that's just who I am. I mean, I'm kind of like a redneck girl, you know? I'm having a great time. This is awesome. All my friends from Yakul. When my father died, I was here every day because I wanted to be around people so much. And nowadays, I don't come to the bar very often, so being able to see everybody is totally cool. Anybody want cake? I'm out where I love to be. I'm in the wilderness, small community. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah, I just love it out here. I love the woods, I love the Northwest, and I don't mind the rain. Cake? And I have a really, really good group of friends. <laughs> I met Tanya about six years ago over here at the little auto body shop kind of working. I took my rig in, she introduced herself, and we got to talking. And she's not this wild, crazy, mean person that they portray her to be. If they would just stop and look through this stereotype, they would see the Tonya that I see. I don't ever heard of I love Yakult, Washington. I've lived here coming up on to start six years. This is my home. It's natural forest land everywhere. And I have deer, elk, bear, cougar, coyotes. It's peaceful, it's quiet, and um, you know, I would love to live here for the rest of my life. It's a small community. There's some people I've never met. I love it. People can, you know, tend to watch out for you. And if I'm out of town, I tell them I'm going out of town. And they keep an eye on the place and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Hey. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. I had a cigarette in my hand. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Being bad. Here you go. This is the Great Northwest. Did you guys see any deer? What river is this down here? East Fork of the Lewis. Well, this is my home, and. Um, it's the first time I've ever had anybody come in and, you know, film. This is my father and I, and myself at a autograph signing show. This is Leslie with me when I was on Oprah. Oprah invited us both up to have a picture taken with her. <laughs> it's a cigarette dispenser. This is what I live with every day, and it's awesome, I mean, to wake up to, to fall asleep to, just to sit and listen, it's so peaceful. You walk across and everything, you can walk down or you can tube it for a little while and everything, it's pretty neat. Yeah, there's steelhead are coming in already. Yeah, okay, well, this is my garage. Obviously, you can tell I'm not a typical woman. 
I cut all this firewood. My boyfriend got a pass this year to cut firewood, so he chopped and I loaded. And you can see that uh, it's really good wood. There is some punginess, you know, which is basically rotten. It's still good wood. It burns. That's what's good. Well, I love living in a small town because if you ever need anything, there's usually always somebody there for you. All these things that you can do in a big city just without the traffic and without all the hassle. Um, and it's just, it's where I love to be. I love the outdoors so much. Um, you know, if I didn't have a place to live, I'd probably be living in a little trailer up in the woods somewhere. Is somebody gonna give me their gloves to be driving home with? No. <laughs> you want mine? Yeah. All right, guys, this is Willie. This is my 1960 Jeep Willys. Um, it's got a Buick 231 in it with a cam and headers. Last year I saved the mail lady. She got her new car stuck and everybody called me. And in the process of getting her out, I actually got her unstuck. And then I ended up breaking the spider gears in mine. I mean, I didn't think I could ever go so low. No. <laughs> but it's cold out here, OK? This is more of a hunting rig, fun snow rig, than it is anything else. And I love it. It gets me from point A to point B. Yeah, and on my back roads, you always have to be careful because uh, we've got a lot of deer out here. I've actually hit a couple of them. The best part about my life these days, I guess, is just uh, working for one, of course, <laughs> and having as many friends as I do. <laughs> Um, I love skating. It will always be my passion. Every time I step out here on the ice, it's just like a new day. It's like I want to go out there and do my jumps. That's me. Tanya Harding, jumping. That's me. Being graceful, not. <laughs> it took me a long time to get there. You want to lace comfortable at the bottom here. But as soon as you get right past your toe, end of the toes, yeah. you want it tight to here, all the way up. Yes, I am. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. La. Yeah, it's been a while. It's the first time I've touched the ice. Uh, since two days after my father died when I skated for Oprah. I haven't really gotten myself to come back. I don't know. I miss him, you know. It's hard. I'm dizzy already. I just, I love my dad. I just hunting and fishing and skating and it didn't matter what my dad did. He always did it for me. Always. <laughs> and yeah, he was an asshole sometimes. He did things that I didn't agree with. I didn't talk to him for like 10 months. And he had a heart attack, and I got called to the hospital, and it was like I was this three-year-old with pigtails walking in. He didn't remember that we hadn't spoken, and um, life's too short to be angry. Lift your foot up. Keep your hips here. Lift your foot up and put it behind you in a T. Obviously, I've made some bad choices in my life, but I look at my choices now and think to myself, where would I be if I would have done that or if I would have done this? You can't do that. You have to just go with the flow.
Getting out on the ice, it's just like being free. This is my zone. <laughs> you know, it's like this is my circle, you know, around here, this is my space. That's how I feel on the ice. Look at my life, look at what I've had to go through. But, am I complaining about it? No. Look at who I am today. I'm a fighter. I am going to succeed in anything and everything that I do. It may not be well, but I will succeed and I will keep going. And I don't give a damn who wants to throw me down and step on me because I have a good heart and I have people that care about me. And that's all that matters.